Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how we can calculate new columns based on the input from already existing ones. So as I can see here, I have a table listing the different products of my company and they already have an information regarding weight and costs. The costs, however, as we see at this point, are listed in cents. So if I want to change this, if I want to, for example, extract product code, costs, costs in cents, and, for example, costs in dollars, what I could do is run a relatively easy query first. So let's call this p.costs from products as p. This will just give me the costs. You can take a look at this. It gives me just the costs as is here from this table. If I wanted to have the costs in dollars, what I actually have to do is I would have to divide the numbers in the costs column by 100. So I could just add one additional column here going with comma p dot costs divided by 100. This is a new column, so I have to give it a new name. Let's call this costs in dollar. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Those numbers divided by 100. So you can just recalculate all this stuff or, well, if those are dollars, but I want to actually get values in a different currency. Let's call it just currency A. I multiply all of this again with a factor of, let's say, 1.42. Run this, and I get here the cost in a different currency. So I can just use multiplication, division in any which way I want to, if I want to just rechange all of this. However, I could also add addition, subtraction, or any type of mathematical functions which are actually supported by SQL. So if I go, okay, that's costs as is, I could also add something new as, for example, plus 495. Let's make this again in dollars. 495, this is more or less costs, costs plus shipping. So combinations, any recalculations of whatever type will work in a similar fashion. So here we can see it works decently well. It's always $4.95 added to the cost as given here in the original. Well, that's already everything I wanted to mention here. So you can generate without any big problems new columns from already existing ones by combining different aspects with standard math math mathematical functions. This, however, also means we could combine different columns. So I could actually combine weights, weight and costs. This would make sense if I have an order, as the ones here, where I have the quantity and a product code. So I could just, I have to do a bit more of a preliminary work, but I could go here and say, well, he ordered this product four times. So you go four times the price of this product here, and I get the cost he has to pay. That, however, would be a different aspect, meaning, however, in the same column you extract, you can use more than one variable. Let's do this as a short, quick, final example. I could go and just multiply the costs 
if I ex interpret them as a cost factor per kilogram. So I could multiply the costs in dollars with the weight in kilograms. So at this point, I combined two variables into one new, and it looks like this. So these calculations also work decently well. Well, that's then finally everything I wanted to mention. So I hope you enjoyed this short session on how to calculate new variables, new columns out, out of old ones by using standard mathematical functions. And I say goodbye and well, see you for the next session.